uh, let's get started then, shall we? Yes. So, um, do you write a lot? Well, I don't think so. Well, you know, people nowadays don't read and write that much. Yes, I'm just the same as normal person. I see. Um, when you do write, mm -hmm. what do you like to write? Well, mostly on social media, I just well, tweet or Instagram something just mm. about my uh, everyday life. Like when I go to work, just yes, the today it started. <laughs> Oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> I want to go home. Something like that. Ah, okay, so some sort of life updates. Life updates and short chat. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, so short chatting with friends. Yes. Ah, okay, wonderful. Um, do you think the things you write will change? Will change in the future, maybe. Ah, the about the topic or? Hmm. Hmm, I don't think so because. My job is not about not much about writing. I don't need to write that much at workplace. So mostly I will just write about yes, um, everyday life, just about my life and my friends' issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And when you are writing, mm -hmm. do you prefer to type or write by hand? Of course, typing. <laughs> Mm. Because I just mostly write on the social media, and uh, oh, past few years, I think I haven't write by my hand. Mm. <laughs> it feels like yes, I haven't even touch pencils or pen by myself recently. Ah. So definitely by typing. <laughs> ah, I see. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Okay. So. That is it for part one. Mm -hmm. So we'll move into part two, the extended response question, okay? okay. So you'll have one minute mm -hmm. to prepare your answer on this piece of paper, mm -hmm. and you can speak for up to two minutes, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. All right, so your extended response question is, um, or task I should say, is to describe a person who dresses fashionably or mm. well. Okay, that's one minute. Mm -hmm. So now, can you describe a person who likes to dress fashionably or well? Okay, uh, uh, one person comes to my mind. Uh, she is my friend, Miss Choi. Uh, because I'm not really sensitive to fashion trends. I'm, I'm not that kind of person, so I don't really think of any celebrity. And she's making video kind of YouTube something, and it's really related to artwork. Uh, I think that's why she's really into that fashion things. Uh, she mostly wears some, which is called street fashion. Mm -hmm. It looks very funky, punky, funky. And it's like, uh, I think it's over than <laughs> casual. I think it's like too much, but <laughs> she ah. loves it. <laughs> uh, I think she likes fashion because it represents her characters. Because she's working, at, uh, her job is related to art. She is. She really likes to go to art museum, and she really loves modern art. So. I think it shows the fashion can show who she is and what she likes. And that's why I think, I guess, she's, she loves fashion. Okay, mm -hmm. great. All right, wonderful. Oh, thank you. So let's move on to part three now, okay? Mm -hmm. The topic focus questions. So, do you think online shopping will replace in store shopping in the future? Oh, well, I guess yes, because. Well, after pandemic, especially, people more and more people start to shop online, and the, I heard that the online fashion market is getting huge. Mm. Yes, that's why I think like that. Okay, great. And 
Why is fashion very important to some people? Oh, well, that's what I think I repeated. But because fashion can show who you are, you know, <laughs> it represents what she likes. Yes. Uh, sorry for repeating things. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Okay. <laughs> And. Are older people as fashionable as young people? Older people, mm, I guess in Korea, no. <laughs> I think in Korea, well, when they get older, I think they wear very same. Mm -hmm. Well, if, uh, for example, when they go hiking, they <sighs> all of them wear outdoor look. Which is very colorful <laughs> and big. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I so well in my in my opinion. I think personally think yeah, older people is not as fashionable as the younger people. Okay, great. And now your final question: mm -hmm. Are women more fashionable than men? Mm, I'll say yes, because you know, as we talk about online shopping. When we so when we see the online shop, well, woman fashion, there are a lot kinds of uh, many kinds of clothes. Mm. Well, like look like this, but well, it has frill and ribbon, ribbon and many accessories. But for male, just shirts and trousers. Mm. <laughs> that I think that. I think because of that, yes, woman is more fashionable. Mm, okay, all right, great job. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to get into the feedback. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. So overall, you did very well. Mm -hmm. um, just the main points I noted were that you were able to answer at a decent length mm -hmm. uh, for most questions. Mm -hmm. Some were a little bit on the short side, mm -hmm. but overall they were an appropriate length, and you answered very well. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Your extended response was also an appropriate length, which mm -hmm. is very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, sometimes you had a little bit of hesitation, mm -hmm. uh, maybe for some like word choice mm -hmm. or maybe it was the topic. Mm -hmm. But I did note a little bit of hesitation in some of your responses. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, one really positive thing is you used a couple of idioms here and there, which mm -hmm. is always great. Mm -hmm. So you said something comes to your mind, which is mm -hmm. a very idiomatic and natural expression. Mm -hmm. um, uh, when describing your friend's fashion style, you said, oh, it's a bit too much, mm -hmm. which is kind of a very <laughs> modern idiom. So it's really nice to see that included. Mm -hmm. And also in part three, you said like, oh, I guess, like I suppose, I guess mm -hmm. is a lot more idiomatic and natural. Mm -hmm. Um, so that was really nice to see uh, you including that. Mm -hmm. um, your, in terms of your like vocabulary choices, mm -hmm. you were relatively flexible. Mm -hmm. um, you didn't make any like inappropriate vocabulary choices, I will say. So mm -hmm. that is something really, really good. Mm -hmm. um, but in terms of grammar, you did uh, make mm -hmm. some, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I think maybe you noticed that yourself. Yeah, uh, <laughs> just maybe nerves, but mm -hmm. that's okay. Um, so, like the same as normal person, you forgot the article, <gasps> um, and also when you were describing like uh, about your life updates mm -hmm. and like how that probably won't change, mm -hmm. like what you write online, mm -hmm. you said like at workplace mm -hmm. instead of like at my workplace mm -hmm. or at uh, like the workplace generally mm -hmm. or in the workplace generally. Mm -hmm. um, also, when describing what your friend does, you said, oh, she is making video instead of videos. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah, okay, I see. <laughs> yeah, so um, actually, um, the grammatical mistakes you made, they weren't like very complicated mistakes, but mm -hmm. rather very simple mistakes, which are easy uh, to fix. Uh, so, mm -hmm. um, yeah, but they, were, they weren't that frequent. So you did a really good job. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah. Uh, your pronunciation was very good. There was just one mistake that I noted, mm -hmm. which was uh, the pandemic. Oh, pan pandemic? Yes, ah, yes. Okay. It sounded more like pandemic. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. But overall, I would give you a score of 7.5 wow. on your speaking test. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome.